Hey everybody, I'm Michael Haverty, the director of A Christmas Carol. And um, when Barry approached me about this project, I said yes, because I've always felt a kinship of the weird with Barry. Um, and two, what a blessing to be offered a commission during a pandemic. <laughs> and three, the story. Uh, most of my work has been adapting classic literature to the puppet stage. And I find great joy in transferring characters from the page to visual, physical creations on stage. So um, I was really excited to take control of all of the wonderful characters and moments that are in A Christmas Carol. Uh, our team that we've assembled for this project, uh, along with Ray and Spencer, we have Brian Mercer, um, who has over 40 years of experience in composition and performance. I hope audiences will take away a fresh understanding of this classic. We know the story so well and we've seen it in so many different ways and hopefully this is a new way uh, and a refreshing tale and maybe learn uh, something we've never heard before, never seen before, never experienced before. Isn't that what we always want? Our two puppeteers are consummate pros who hit the ground running with their understanding of manipulation. Hi, I'm Spencer Stevens. And I'm Ray Kaplan. We're the puppeteers for A Christmas Carol. Um, puppets and sets were designed by Sam Carter. I would say that a big source of inspiration for me is uh, is Wayne White. I'm a big fan of his design style and I, I love his, his puppets, the stuff that he did from Pee Wee's Playhouse and beyond that. Uh, I'm a huge fan of, of Ralph Bakshi and of uh, John Crick Falusi. I was kind of raised watching Ren and Stimpy. And, uh, and then uh, Henry Selleck, the work that he's done with, with Tim Burton, and then you know beyond uh, the work that he's done with Tim Burton, I'm, I'm a huge stop motion animation fan. A lot of the, the puppets that I have up on my shelves behind me are, are stop motion puppets. And, um, and I think you, know, you can really see the, the marriage of that Tim Burton aesthetic, that you know, German expressionistic uh, style mixed with, with Wayne White in the designs for A Christmas Carol. I think that uh, there's a bridge there that's, that's fairly obvious if you're uh, familiar with, with those, two, those two artists and their sensibilities. With puppets fabricated by Russ Vick on a 3D printer, uh, this is that Marley head design you sent me, Michael. I just kind of wanted to quickly rough it out in ZBrush just to show you what it might look like in three dimensions. Um, there's no detail, and I, I didn't have a profile, so just sort of guess there. But I think overall, it'll move much quicker uh, sculpting these out in ZBrush, printing them overnight, and then all that's left is clean up uh, assembly and paint. So yeah, I have Scrooge here with just a coat of gesso, just so you can kind of see it. Uh, a little better. Um, removable mouth here. Just have a little screw which attaches to the magnet there. Um, I've got these interchangeable mouths. Yeah, I'm happy for a size reference regarding Christmas present, big guy. Um, here's his hand. <laughs> uh, and head with same thing, two interchangeable mouths. Whew. And then uh, Bob Cratchit with uh, his eyelids to close his eyes. Uh, there. Spirit fast, uh, is that right? Yeah, tall, lanky one. <laughs> Not the skeleton. Uh, uh, yeah and spirit future here, uh, it's more reaper-like, and his hands are printing currently over there. They're a little bit bigger, not quite as big as uh, spirit present. And puppets and sets painted by Rachel DeUriost. The puppet costumes were built by Nicole Clockle, who I first met years ago when she took my puppetry course at Kennesaw State University. So we have an enormous team working on all of the pieces you see in our show. What I hope that an audience takes away from this version of A Christmas Carol is the the humor and some of the uh, the, the silliness that uh, that is that's in that story and that is is possible in telling that story. Um, I think we've all seen very serious, dramatic versions of A Christmas Carol, and you know, 
Marley's monologue about mankind was my business. And I think that if, if anything, I would hope that audiences would would see the humor in in the story and in the the way that uh, that Michael is is telling the story.